Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Please state your name and where you're from. Uh, my name's Brendan, and I'm from Portsmouth in England. Portsmouth uh, in England, you yeah. say, eh? Yeah. You clearly never saw the sign out front that said, no shirt, no shoes, no service. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Portsmouth is a, a big port, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's Mary what it's Rose. Yeah, the Mary Rose, Henry yeah. VIII's flagship, that's it. sunk right yeah. out there. He was very upset. Of course, he was fat. He wasn't fat. He wasn't fat. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Admiral Lord Nelson as well had something to do with that. Didn't get any of that. Didn't no. get any of that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Portsmouth. So, young fella from Portsmouth, yeah. England. Yeah. What are you doing here in Los Angeles? I went to Coachella, a festival. Oh, Spring. Coachella! Yeah. Are you yeah. in a band? I am, yeah. Oh, what band are you in? The Scandal. Oh, that's my favourite band! Yeah. <laughs> He's heard of that one. I didn't know you... Are, are the rest of Scandals here? Nah, one of them's in New York. Oh. Um, and the rest are in England now. So oh, yeah, yeah probably, yeah. <laughs> Good what do you do in the band? I sing and play guitar. You're the singer? Yeah, blues, like bluesy kind of 60s. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> so, uh, do you work out? <laughs> not really, no. You do a little bit, son. I don't, I don't. No, you, really? Yeah, I don't. Well, you're clearly not doing drugs. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't do that either. <laughs> good for you. Did you have a nice time at Coachella? Yeah, it was amazing. Really? Yeah, it was good. Messy, but it was good. Messy? <laughs> Messy weekend, yeah. Yeah. Sunny. Did you, uh, do, uh, w uh, do you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or something? Uh, no, I don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> all right, okay. So did you hook up with somebody when you were there? I did, yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you gonna, are you going to see uh, he or she again? Um, maybe, yeah. She's, from, she's Mexican, but she lives in San Diego. So, so maybe, that, yeah. That's not an entirely uncommon thing. <laughs> But maybe, yeah. Is this live on TV? Is this on TV? This is on TV, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bloody English. <laughs> well, I, I wish you well. Uh, yeah, do, have you, you, have you got any friends here? Any uh, English friends with you? Um, there's a couple there, but I met them on the way down to here. That's how I got the ticket, so... <laughs> Are you just rolling around on your yeah, own? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're awesome! <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're going to send you and your new friends to a restaurant that CBS is going to pay for. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah what, nice what, one. What Thank you. It? Cheers. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to wear a shirt. Yeah, I'll fancy get rest. I've got some clothes back at the house. Oh, hotel, you have got clothes? So, yeah, yeah, All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Where's the rest? Thank you. Maestro's Steakhouse. Maestro's Steakhouse. Maestro's Steakhouse. Maestro's Steakhouse. Maestro's Steakhouse. Oh, that's a great restaurant. Nice. Thank you. Now, do you eat steak? No. Yeah, I like steak. All right, yeah, you eat. Because I don't know the young folks and their music. You know, you could be a vegetarian or something. Yeah, no, I like, I like, I like steak. <laughs> Charming young man. Yeah, no, I think it's very good. It's very good. I think you'll do very well in this country. I'm oh, looking forward to see you and uh, the sca scandals. scandals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you should come on the show. I've got another band as well, actually, called Lucifer's Gold. Lucifer's Band's Gold? Band. Oh, no, yeah, we yeah. can't have that. No, no. <laughs> They eat steak, though. What? <laughs> they eat steak. What, Lucifer's go? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this has been very nice. Yeah, it's been very good. Very good to meet you, yeah. I, I have to do a commercial break now. It's just oh, a thing. Oh, okay. It's a Thank thing. You. Oh, it's one of the things you've got it's to do. It's one of these TV, things, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Great. Take care. Thank you. Sponsored by Prudential. Every challenge is an opportunity. Prudential, bring your challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Great. It's enough. Really great. Thanks a lot. Fine. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Look, I understand that the warm-up comedian has frightened you. <laughs> we call him a comedian. He's not really a comedian. But that, you, you mustn't be frightened. Sit down. Relax. It's all right. That's one of the dangers of sitting in the front row. You're standing up like that, and everyone's going... <laughs> We're all sitting down and we can see your ass. <laughs> so, you know what happened tonight, Jeff? I was, I was waiting to come on. I was like, all ready. And usually the warm-up comedian says, give me thunder. And the audience is like, oh, like that. <laughs> For years, how many shows have we? Nine years we've we been doing this? It's like 1,700 shows, something like that. 1,700, right, okay. So, uh, no, don't. And uh, <laughs> you've clearly never seen any. And then, <laughs> tonight he didn't say give me thunder. He said, here come Craig. <laughs> what the hell is that? Here come Craig like I'm some kind of baller. <laughs> here come Craig! Here come Craig! Here come Craig! Go crazy or I get fired! <laughs> oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> It is a great day for our friends in France. The French. Uh, you didn't know? Yeah, that's what they call them. They, they call them <laughs> the, the, today, France legalized same-sex marriage. So the next step, of course, is legalizing same-sex mistresses. <laughs> marriage is very different in France. When you ask someone in France, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, the correct response is, eh, I don't care. <laughs> maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm so bored. <laughs> now, today, if you know anything about me, which if you do, I'm sorry that your life turned out like that, but if, <laughs> if you know anything about me, you know this is the day I look forward to all year, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the day I look forward to all year. Today is William Shakespeare's birthday. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You just shut up. I hate you. Shakespeare's birthday, he would have been 449 years old today. Oh, too little, too late. <laughs> he would have been, he would have been almost 450 years old, or as CBS calls it, our demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Shakespeare. You know who else's birthday is George Lopez? Now, Shakespeare and George Lopez, very different, of course. <laughs> one's a genius whose timeless observations on the human condition can bring tears to the eyes, and the other one's Shakespeare. There you are. There you are. <laughs> Happy birthday, George. Now, do we, uh, do we have a graphic for Shakespeare's birthday? It's my big day. <laughs> hell? No! That was just a... That was clearly the graphic left over from Oprah's birthday. <laughs> Dr. Phil's in shape, though, isn't he? Now, William Shakespeare's birthday is a cause for celebration. In honor of their birthday, I will now do the monologue this evening in Elizabethan English. Are you ready, Jack? Oh, yeah, wonderful. All right. <laughs> Methinks it is a great day for the new world. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alas, poor Jeff Peterson. Yeah, that's all. I'm not doing it anymore after that. Spe See, speaking Elizabethan English uh, is like hosting a talk show. It sounds like a fun idea, then after about five seconds, you're like, oh, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Shall we do the monologue like this this evening? Yes. Perhaps the entire show, me thinks, Geoffrey. I rather enjoy it, Craig. <laughs> it's just the same as when we're doing Downton Abbey, though. We haven't changed it at all. Here come Craig. <laughs> Oh, do it again, do it again. All right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Announcing, here come Craig. <laughs> the poor fool thinks I'm Craig, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. It's one of those double bluff things. That's what they call them, isn't it? Is that a double, double bluff? bluff? Yeah. 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 Do you get a picture of Shakespeare? There he is, right there. Look at that. Now, he's got the traditional coffee filter around the neck. Now, sometimes I wear one of those after I've had a procedure to keep me from licking myself. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> I 
I don't know what kind of pants he's wearing in that photograph. Can you see the rest of the picture? Oh, yeah! There you go. <laughs> I like these wearing sneakers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's clearly got a jazzercise class coming up. Because <laughs> people in Shakespeare's time used to wear uh, big poofy trousers. You know, the big po poofy trousers. <laughs> Historians call this proof that people in Shakespeare's time had big poofy scrotums. <laughs> By the way, Big Poofy Scrotums was my hip-hop name during the, uh... Yeah, it was during the, the trouble with the East Coast, West Coast stuff. It was all... I was Big Poofy Scrotums. West Side. <laughs> I have to admit, though, I wasn't a fan of Shakespeare when I was younger. I think I was turned off by stuffy versions of the plays that I was forced to watch in school. You know, Scottish actors prancing around with bad English accents. It was like watching the Drake, Drew Carey show with me on it. <laughs> Remember that? Craig, did you just compare the Drew Carey show to the works of William Shakespeare? Yes, I did. <laughs> Shakespeare didn't pay for my first car. <laughs> no, wait, ask yourself this. These people, the hell, they don't man. even know what they're applauding for. They're just, they're just so excited because here come Craig. Bunch of patronizing bastards. Patronizing? No, don't turn on them or they'll turn on us. <laughs> hey, don't I'm you know the essential laws of this? <laughs> Is that one of the laws? Of yeah, this? apparently, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I like Shakespeare now. Now I'm older, I've seen it done well, you know. And these days I enjoy looking at all the old-time bustiers and corsets. <laughs> Sometimes on the women, too, the bustiers. <laughs> Do you like Shakespeare? Love Shakespeare. Really? What's your favourite Shakespeare play? Love, Do you have one? Uh, love uh, uh, Hamlet. That's actually one of my favourites. Because it's got Ham in the title? Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. You know what I like about in the, in the play Hamlet, when Shakespeare talk, uh, when Hamlet, Hamlet talks to the skull and the skull doesn't say anything? That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, me think the late night douche doth protest too much. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It doesn't. Look, shut up. It, it doesn't make something Shakespeare just because you say me thinks in front of it. Actually, me thinks it does. <laughs> me thinks they were gonna clap anyway. They were only clapping, not be they were only clapping because here come Craig. That's what they were clapping. Right. And also because they recognized me as big puffy scrotums from... <laughs> West Side. You had some great songs, I remember that. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. what were they? I've forgotten. What my were favorite they? one was uh, uh, Taint My Gun. Yeah, that, that was my favorite. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Methinks that was rude. <laughs> All right, uh, we better go to the commercials now. That's what Shakespeare would have wanted on his birthday. Well, you want to do a little you know, commercial? What, what? Yeah. Commercial, okay. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, Shakespeare would have, if he'd have been around now, he'd have written commercials in. He would have, you know, he would have stopped right in the middle, you know, uh, it would have been a horse, a horse, and came my kingdom for a horse. And now, boner pills. <laughs> From yonder window breaks, tis the east, and a vacuum cleaner with the proper amount of suction. <laughs> you know it's time to go to commercials when the horse shrugs. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. A chance to win a ticket to see the, uh, the Savage guys. Yeah. Scandal, scandal, the, sca the scandal, scandal, oh, yeah. scandal, scandal. We're going out. Hey, everybody! Yeah, and, and I think their opener is Big Puffy Scrotum. Uh, you can't know. Big Puffy Scrotum became a recluse. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. He went into hiding. <laughs> I was hoping his new album would drop. 
<laughs> what are we, children here? Sorry. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's female time. Time to take advice from a man who once danced under the name Titus Androgynous. <laughs> Who refers to self-massage as the taming of the shrew. All right, that's better. All right, uh, is that stuff that you were thinking up, Jerry? Yeah, I'm Rick? just sitting here thinking Good for you, up. man. All right, this is, uh, oh, uh, email jingle, you ready? Yeah, Let's yes. do a Shakespearean one. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Please don't. This is from uh, Lisa in Ann Arbor, Michigan, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, how come you always say, we're going crazy right before you start reading the emails? It's a thing you do on TV just to try and get people going. It's not a real thing. We're not going crazy. <laughs> or maybe we are. Maybe if we had creepy music, we'd go crazy. Now nah, we're fine. Anyway, this is from Mo in Los Angeles, California. Is, you ever been there? Beautiful. What a beautiful. place it is. It's right outside the window. Look, there it is right there. Uh, Mo says, uh, Craig, uh, maybe Secretariat's weight issues stem from the fact he's not allowed in restaurants and must always trot through drive throughs instead. Oh. <laughs> you're looking great. You're, whatever diet regime you're on, you're looking sensational. He isn't really. <laughs> oh, you heard me. Oh, no. I hope you don't get super angry and then call me out. <laughs> Big puffy scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, this is from Andrew in Virginia. It says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, my wife has suggested we experiment a little more in the bedroom. Is this a warning sign or should I just go with it? As long as it doesn't involve a Bunsen burner, I would go ahead. <laughs> and finally, this is from Alan in uh, Cape May in New Jersey. I don't know if you can tell, but Alan's a creepy looking... Uh, <laughs> says, uh, Craig, how come you built a giant red curtain and there's never anything behind it? How do you... How do you know? Can you see through red curtains? <laughs> <laughs> so you're, we're just using it to store stuff? Well, they got some shirts there and an old rolled up carpet and a trash can that's knocked over. You know what? It's the set of my new modernized Shakespeare play. Fantastic actor. He stars in the following Monday nights on Fox. Take a look at this. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, everybody. Kevin Bacon. Hey, Kevin. Somebody has actually uh, invented a a uh, drinking game where you take a shot every time I have a serious look on my face on the show. On this show? No, no, not on, on this your show. show. No, on my show. Yeah, I mean, well, I was looking at that clip, and it's like everything. Every time you see me, I'm like. <laughs> Do I have to take a drink now? No, you don't. No, no, no. Because that would get bad if I. <laughs> hey, no, it's uh, it's good to see you. Thank you're you. a musician. Were you at Coachella? Uh, 
Uh, no, I didn't go to Coachella, no. Have you ever been? Uh, I've never been, no. You should take the Bacon Brothers down there and, and get I some... I should. I actually have a story for you about the Bacon Brothers. I hope this doesn't bum people out. Uh, I, I hope it does. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not bummed out by it. Uh, my, my brother and I have a band. We grew up in Philadelphia. I'm the youngest of six. Our father was a, uh, a planner in Philadelphia. And he was famous in Philadelphia, you know, well-known. It was my first kind of taste of celebrity, and he, he absolutely loved it, you know. People would stop him on the street and say, Ed, Ed, and he was like, he was kind of cantankerous and was often sort of in the papers, you know, uh, raising hell or whatever. So cut to many, many years later where Bacon Brothers are playing down in San Diego, and we have an opportunity to come up and be on this show oh, I think I know with this you. Story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so on our way there, we're on the bus, and our father dies. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm and uh, don't, it's okay. He was very old. He was very old. <laughs> and, yeah, also, uh, oh, it doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, it doesn't happen. <laughs> It's, it's a long time ago. It was a while ago. And, uh, and, and it was time and the whole thing. And uh, so we were kind of had our moment of mourning on the bus. And then, of course, the show must go on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, see, I didn't know. Well, you know, here's yeah. the thing. For those of you that don't really know the difference between Craig and other uh, talk show hosts is that he always kind of throws out anything totally out of the blue. Oh, Whatever no. you talk about What did I do? What did well, I, I do? sat down, my brother and I, and the first thing he said, so, I hear your father's a great guy. Oh, really? That was the first, oh. the, the first word oh. that I know. And my brother and I were like, uh, yeah, uh, is, was, I, I, yeah, uh, I, I, you know. And we didn't want to bum everybody out because, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, it would have been terrible. But it's great that you came back and said it on the air. That's awesome. Yeah. Because the good news is, <laughs> the good news is I in no way look like a douche in this time. No, no. But here's the thing. I could you know, I, I don't know, is there a heaven? I'm not sure about that. But I picture this hall where like you're lining up to get, you know, someone's deciding where you're gonna go or whatever. My father's standing there in line and there's a television. TV's monitor, on? Yeah. <laughs> and the show's on. Yeah. And, he, and you mention it, you know, and he turns to the guy and goes, Look at that, I'm on TV. Yeah. <laughs> And also, it's like, it's CBS, so they'll be like, oh, they had touched by an angel. In you go, in you go. You'll be fine. Hey, now, I was going to tell you this. I was on, I was watching the TV the other night, and some of it wasn't CBS. It was uh, cable. Did you have cable? Uh, yeah, I do. It's amazing. Cable. You got all these different I, things. I got and, yeah, yeah. and I see an old movie that I haven't seen in a long time right. called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Yeah, yeah. And right at the very beginning, you are the douchebag that steals his taxi. That's, that's true. Sets the whole thing in motion. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had done a movie with John Hughes, great director. Right. Uh, uh, before that, before that movie came out, Plain Strange One, but it was called uh, uh, "She's Having a Baby." I, I like that movie. I, I saw that movie in rehab. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, good. Did, did it help? Or yeah, or I think it did. It was like <laughs> it was a movie, and they were like, "Here's a movie. It'll kind of cheer you up." And we were all like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm going to get my life together now." <laughs> Clearly, it didn't work out for me, but it's a well, good movie. <laughs> thank you very much. But, you know, I, I, I said to John Hughes afterwards, I said, man, I really loved working with you. And if you got anything at all in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which was the next thing he was shooting. And he said, well, I got this little thing. It's, you know, there's no lines, but basically it's you and Steve Martin vying for a cab. And, and uh, I said, yeah, sure. So I did that. That's cool. It was, it was a fun. cool little thing to have. And it was in New York City. You were running down the street. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it was fun. You can't do that now. No. No, you can't do it now. You're too old. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, you're right. I, I knew that's what you meant. I knew that's what the, you meant. I in no way look like a douchebag again. <laughs> do you know why? Well, I, well, actually, the reason why I said that, what struck me was that must be a while ago. And I watch it, and I go, you look exactly the same, man. It's the... Like, exactly the same. It's the finest team of Beverly Hills surgeons. Ah, working, shut up. Working around the clock. No. no. It's, it's uh, uh, kale. I eat a lot of kale. <laughs> Do you have a weird, uh, a weird diet? Like, really? No, I really don't. Uh -huh. I really don't. Because you're I, pretty thin. You look like you're in shape. No, I, I don't have a weird diet. I think my diet is good. I think everything should be in moderation, including, you know, veganism. So sometimes I'll have a vegan steak. lunch. And a then vegan steak. <laughs> well, this is absolutely true. Yes, yesterday, uh, we were at home, and, and my wife said, uh, well, there's not that much for lunch. What should we have? And we had some veggie burgers in the, in the freezer. So I said, oh, those look good. Let's put some bacon on them. <laughs> <laughs> so we literally had veggie burgers with ba bacon. That's veggie fine. Burgers. That's absolutely fine. That's you you, you get it all. All right. Yeah.
Listen, I, I want to talk to you about, about the show, but uh, I have to take a commercial break. Do you have commercial breaks over on Fox? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, yeah there, there are. Do, do you have... But we don't actually... We don't actually film them while we're doing the, the, the series. You should do that. You should act up to the, and then give little hints like, I think it might have been boner pills. <laughs> and then... I love that boner pill. Boner pills? Hey, listen, I, I, it's one of the things that I'm very excited about getting older. Well, you know, you know, everything in moderation. <laughs> Nothing in moderation. <laughs> we'll be right back with Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Kevin Bacon. We don't get along. Uh, so this this show where you're the guy, and then there's the guys out there. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's he's a killer, right? And then you're the cop. Yeah, he's a serial killer, and uh, played the great actor James Purefoy. Uh, plays he's good. At, he's English, you know. He's English. Yeah. 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 yeah I noticed from his accent. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, by the way, I can't wait to hear your band. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, the, the, yeah, the, 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 uh, uh, the scandals, yeah. yeah. I mean, what a, it's kind of like, you see, isn't that kind of like the birth of a star right yeah, there? You I know mean, what, I was like just that thinking that. Is, I was thinking, wow, I was there. The yeah. Moment. You know what, I think, I think it's like five years from now on YouTube, people are like, see, like, look, there he is yeah. there! Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, he doesn't talk to anybody now. But enough yeah. time, back to my show. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah, to the show. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, he, James plays the, the bad guy. He's a, a killer. He's, he's gotten out of jail at the beginning of the season, and, and I... And Why did he let him out? Uh, he escaped. Oh. And I have left the FBI, and I'm kind of a mess. I'm drinking, and I'm unhappy, and, and they call me back to uh, track him down. And, and we're almost uh, to... We only have one episode left on the air, and... Uh, are you going to get him, or is that... you know? I him? can't really say. All right, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 it's, it is... I, and you know what? I'll tell you, it's people take the whole spoiler thing really, really oh, serious. yeah, they do. You know, I went to... Yes, I, they do. I, I, I'm recently on, uh, you know, Twitter, and uh, I, 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 I retweeted tweeted a compliment that someone had said people don't like that on twitter kevin what the hell man I, 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 that's I, humble bragging right there I that's guess your humble brag that's, right. that's a humble brag exactly so i i but the problem was is that i hadn't thought about the people in uh overseas that hadn't seen the show yet oh. and i, I think and the people that uh, you know dvr it and i figure well the west coast episode already ran so i had to uh you know do a, like a real big mea culpa just you know i'm so sorry people are furious oh, they get mad yeah furious. they get really mad but here's the thing y you must ignore that okay yeah <laughs> Okay. Just live your life, man. Be like that dude that goes to Coachella and he's like, yeah, I'm just going to go over here now. Something might happen. It might not. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, no. Live I, your life, I, man. I, I admire that. I really yeah. do. You know, I, I miss that in my own. Did you ever live like that a little bit? You're just like, oh, what the hell? I'm just going to go over here and see what happens. No. Well, was, that means you're going to do it then. No, I was so like, uh, I was just so... You know, I own the prize. Well, you were I'm very successful, very you know, I was young, thinking about but... Shakespeare, Shakespeare's uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. He, and, uh, he's not here, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, people have often said to me, I would say I, I've never done Shakespeare, uh, you know, mostly because I'm just... I'm just not one of those actors that you want to see in tights necessarily. And, <laughs> and I, I was, but I was thinking backstage that the truth is, is that the very first play that I ever did was a Midsummer's Night's Dream. Not exactly because it was only the play within the play. I was like 11 years old. Right. And the script was taken from, uh, I don't know if you probably didn't have these in Scotland, but there was a, we had a thing called Golden Key Classic Comics where they would take like great works of literature like Moby Dick. No, we didn't have the Bible or, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. And then you make them into comic books. Right. So they're like really just well, pictures. We might have had something like, like that. Like eight yeah. or nine pages and whatever. So they had taken Shakespeare and had done that and then they took the play within the play and, and adapted it. That was the very first play that I ever did. And I'll never forget, there was this kid named Danny Melrod who was, I mean, literally we were like eight or ten years old. And he was the, uh, the, the wall. He was the chink in, in the wall, which is an actual part. And uh, he had one line which was, I the wall, my part thus done, away from this queer place, I do run. <laughs> and, and, okay? It's not that good. So, yeah. 
<laughs> he could not remember this line. <laughs> Save his life. And we drilled him, and we drilled him, and we drilled him. Danny, come on. I the wall, my part that's done. Away from this queer place, I do run. I the wall. And we just went over and over, week after week after week. And finally, the big production, and I remember him going back, sit, seeing him backstage, and he's like, I the wall, my part that's done. Away from here. <laughs> and we got there, and boom, it was his time. And he stood up, and he said, I the wall, my part that's done. I run away from this queer place. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Kevin Bacon, we'll be right back. Talented actress, she stars in Iron Man 3, which is in theaters May the 3rd. Take a look at this. <laughs> Rebecca Hall, everybody, Rebecca Hall. May I say, you look enchanting this evening. Oh, thank you so much. No, really, very lovely indeed. Is that like, Elizabethan English that you're using? Me thinks it may be. Yeah, I thought it might be. Do you know, I've just, <laughs> I've just realised, well, I didn't just realise, I kind of noticed today yeah. at Shakespeare's birthday, your father, Sir Peter Hall, founded the Royal Shakespeare Company. Did you did, know that? Did. No, I didn't. Thank yes, you for he did. No, yeah, you know, he's, uh, yeah, he did, indeed. Does he that know any good. Shakespeare, or he just thought, oh, well, not really. something will turn he up? Thought, yeah, it'll <laughs> work out fine in the end. No, you're not American. People think you're American. From no. The, no. My mother's American. Really? Yeah. She's from Michigan, originally. That's America. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been there? I have. It's lovely. Which part? Uh, just outside Detroit. That's my favorite bit. <laughs> So, Iron Man, that's yes. it. That's a, do you have a superpower in this film? Uh, I, uh, no. I just, I'm, I'm incredibly smart, if that counts as a superpower. That is a superpower. Yeah, a friend of mine suggested that I should launch my own superhero franchise just called Smart Woman on the basis that I play a lot of smart characters. Well, it's because you look very clever and you're beautiful and uh, people like that. Well, I say people, I mean me. What, well, how did... <laughs> You're beautiful, clever women. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's a great thing to be. What, beautiful and clever? Yes. If I was you, Subjective. I'd just run around what? reciting Shakespeare on his birthday. All the time. <laughs> you go first. If you do some Shakespeare, then I will. All right, then. <laughs> this is a bit where there's no talking. <laughs> it's before, it's the bit before okay. Hamlet goes to be or not to be, right? He's like this. He's thinking about to be or not to be, and he's going yes. like this. <laughs> You could do, there's a very famous bit where there was this, the, one of the very few stage directions which just says, exit pursued by a bear. You could do exit pursued by... A horse? A horse. We're traditionalists here, we won't have any of that. <laughs> so you grew up in the, in the world of Shakespeare then? You grew up uh, actressing did, all over it? I actressing all yeah. over it. <laughs> like it sounds like some sort of disease. No. <laughs> It's not. It's a lovely, it's an adorable disease. What part of London do you live in? I live sort of east, sort of northeast. I used yeah. to live northeast Islington. Where about? Oh, Islington. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Well, it was all right. Yeah. yeah. It's what are you saying nice. it like that for? Because well, it's very nice. Well, you're making it out like I'm posh and you're not. You said that, I didn't. You know I speak your language and you did say that. You know I don't. You were like, mm -mm. you think English, girl? You ain't the first. <laughs> so, uh, Islington's nice. I, I used to live on Cloudsley Road, just off Upper Street. Lovely, very it's nice. Very nice up yeah, there. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, what, what? Nothing, I'm still not, I'm not judging you. You are judging me a little bit. I'm really not. I don't, this is a complex. I think you need to, you know. It is a bit. Are you in therapy? <laughs> <laughs> I am. You are? Oh, yeah, How's yeah. it going? Fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, I feel Good. great. <laughs> I don't know. All right, sometimes. They come and go. Are you in really? therapy? No, I'm not. Oh, well. I is, don't that know. A is that a good... No, you think I should be? I don't know. I well, don't now know you've it. told me to. I, you know, I might think about Well, it. I'm suggesting it. It might help. A little bit of, you know, self-knowledge. You know? A <laughs> little bit of other things like that. All right. Might help. Might help with... 
Well, I don't know what your problems are. What are your problems? This is awkward. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's what I'm going for here! Oh. Yeah. Do you want to just do an awkward pause right in the middle of the interview? Right now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> You just did a little acknowledgement to your invisible friend. Do you ever do that when you're arguing with someone? I do that when I'm arguing with my wife sometimes. Like she says something and I go, ha, ha, like that to like with someone over there. Like who agrees with me. I'm like, oh, that's what you think? Oh. What do you think, invisible friend? I agree with you. That, do you ever do that? You did it right there. Well, no, I didn't. Technically, yours is a little weird. I was doing it to several people in an audience. <laughs> You, you, you didn't. You weren't doing it to them. You were doing it to an imaginary person I right there. I did it to them. I, mean, I, I well, did it to you. Wait, wait, wait. That's... You bastards! <laughs> Never again will you hear, here come Craig. <laughs> God, you're meant to be on my side. I just ruined Craig Ferguson for you. You did. You ruined Craig Ferguson. <laughs> No, if, if you, that would be all right with me, actually. On Shakespeare's birthday as well. It's my favourite day of the year. Why is it your favourite? Are you a big Shakespeare fan? I enjoy a bit of, a bit of the bar. What's yeah. your favourite play? I think A Midsummer Night's Dream. It cheers me up. It's a lovely summery thing. It's beautiful. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? It is. It is. Some of the, some of the later tragedies get a bit... Life's a bit hard enough, you know. Yeah. So I like a little bit of... Oh, flimsy. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I love Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, I do like it. Kevin Bacon did it at school, you know. I know. I just heard that. <laughs> have you ever done a film with him? Yeah, I have. Have you really? Yeah. Frost Nixon. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, because you were uh, David Frost's girlfriend. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's a good film. It was great, actually. I like working with Kevin Bacon. Apart from Michael Sheen and I, as actors do on film sets, quite often waste time playing Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, which is fine. And, until if he's the not... moment that Kevin Bacon comes in and says, hey, guys, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Feel a little awkward. It's he doesn't mind, though. He doesn't mind. No. He's got a very good sense of humour. Yes. I mean, I, I made a bit of a boo-boo the night his father died. <laughs> Heavy. Why? Why? Well, I didn't know his father died, and oh. I said, how's your dad? <laughs> That's awkward. But you recovered from it. Not really. I'm still doing this show. <laughs> anyway, good luck with the Iron Man movie. It's a little independent thing, but I'm sure it'll yeah, do no, all right. Rebecca Hall, everybody. We'll be right back. Alas, poor Geoffrey. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. A gay robot skeleton. When shall we two meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly burl is done. When the boner pill commercials are finished. Here come Craig. 